what it is, man. Detroit versus everybody, man. Detroit, we rep the hardest, man. We gain the hardest. You know what, you know what it is, man. Detroit, CJ, holla at your boy when we get home. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Help Blaze, at thehelpblaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bad bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code GOODFELLA1BOXING. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella since you get 18% off. We out. All right, man. Let's talk about the viewership for Jamal James. Thomas Delorme went down last Saturday. It was PBC first card on Fox. It averaged just over 1 million uh, viewership and it peaked at 1.2 over 1.2 for the main event. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And um, those are okay numbers. You know, um, you know, people say, oh, it's better than top rank numbers. And that's true. Top rank is on a more limited platform with ESPN. Because believe it or not, a lot of people still don't have cable. But Fox is more accessible. Um, Fox should never do under a million. Fox is, is free TV. All you need is a digital antenna. So Fox should never, anything you do on Fox should never fall under a million sports wise. You know what I'm saying? And for them not to be two named guys, imagine if they put on quality cards on Fox, what it can do for guys like Earl Spence and, you know, you know, other guys that got like Deontay Wilder, if he takes an intern by with Tyson Fury, that'd be huge. You know what I'm saying? But we in a, we at a point where nobody wants to take the pay cut. Nobody wants to take the risk and reap the reward. You know what I'm saying? And Deontay Wilder is living proof that that risk is worth the reward. Wilder was able to build his fan base off of fighting on free TV. NBC and whatever the situation may be, guys should consistently want to fight on that platform. But when you're on the wrong side of 30 or you on 30, and 30 is usually a lot of times the peak or the climax for a lot of fighters, depending on how you take care of your body and when you start, a lot of guys don't want to take that risk. You know what I'm saying? Imagine if they put Earl and Danny on Fox and what they could do for Earl Spence if he has a spectacular performance. You know, imagine if, you know, they would have put Luis Ortiz and Wilder on Fox. What they would that would have been a spectacular performance. And that's what they don't understand. You couldn't build a farm, you couldn't build your farm system on Showtime because don't nobody watch Showtime. They don't have subscribers, the HBO guy. They don't have Fox don't have no subscribers. You know? But at the end of the day, if they put really good fights like Keith Thurman and Sean Porter on Fox, you know, it'll be able to take off. But Delorme and Jamal James, it was a pretty good fight. I didn't watch the entire card. I didn't watch that entire fight. I watched, you know, from the eighth round on, I had some other stuff to do. I'm not going to stop my day to watch these, these bum-ass fights. I'm just going to keep it 100. I stopped my day to watch a really good fight. But the days of me stopping my day to watch these pedestrian cards, if I ain't doing nothing, I'm going to watch them. But, you know... It, it was a solid fight from what I've seen. Delorme was looking for the one big punch, uh, and Jamal James was giving him a boxing lesson, but he wasn't boring. They was throwing they was throwing that leather, and I think the numbers indicated that people care more about the main event. But also, if you got a really good undercard, then I think uh, I think I think you and you you will be able to have better viewership across the board, and that's what they gotta that's what they gotta understand. I understand they rent the venue for a certain amount of time, but what they got to understand is this quantity over quality. I mean, quality over quantity, excuse me. When you're talking about these cards, you feel what I'm saying? All right. If we don't see, I mean, if we don't get four or five good, I mean, regular fights, no, put more stock in the co-main event. Just come out there with four really good fights. And the four really good fights is too much. Three really good fights. Come out there with three really good fights and maybe a prospect fight. Don't put don't put these dudes on TV that we never gonna see again. Put the Spencers, put the Gary Anton Russells on TV. Let's see them come up. Then the third fight, the, the, well, the second fight you should be putting on should be a really good fight. Then the, then the cold main event should be a really good fight. But other, other than that, I think they did really good numbers for Delore Man and, and Jamal James. Those, those guys ain't two household names at all. So just imagine if they you know was able to put more cards like the Charlo card on there. They'll break, they break it. They'll break the internet. That's what they got to do, man. They got to sit here and they got to, they got the young guys don't make the same mistakes you made with with these dudes, like the Charlos and stuff of that nature. And Earl Spence, don't make that mistake. The Joy Spencers, the Gary Anton Russells, the Colberts, put them on Fox. Pair them up with the, with the Fox cards. You know what I'm saying? 
and, and had them build their fan base on regular TV. It's too late for Keith Thurman and Sean and Earl and God. They already plugged in. They're not taking no pay cut. So if you put them on free TV, it got to be versus Campo or, or somebody like that. You know what I'm saying? But you can't show them the bigger picture because the picture is almost done being painted for them. You know, it's almost done. So at the end of the day, they, they, a lot of people are scared to take risks. You know what I'm saying? That's the problem, not just with, with fighters. That's the problem with people in life. People scared to take, you know, risks to go to another job. People scared to take risks to get out of a relationship and, and, and try something to do, new. I ain't never scared to change it up. You know what I'm saying? Chances make champions. But a lot of these dudes in boxing, they not going to play with their livelihood because a lot of these motherfuckers only got one income coming in. And that's boxing. And that's boxing. These dudes say, I'm my own boss, I'm a promoter. That's a, that's a front. That's a front to get them more money as being a promoter for the fight. There ain't no real operational lions only and man down. And that shit don't operate for real. You know? But, you know, taking that risk, fighting on free TV for, for less money, a lot of, a lot of people don't want to do it. You know, so you're going to have Sebastian from Formella, whatever his name is, taking on Sean Porter, Lara versus Veninti. And then you're going to have us another card they got on there as well. Abel Ramos and, or Dennis Ugas. You know what I'm saying? All fights that's not going to do shit for none of them. When you think about it, ratings across the boards in, in sports is, is over. I mean, it's bad. I mean, baseball been taken for a while. Hockey don't have no ratings. NFL ratings been tanking. People kind of correlate that with the Kaepernick protest. I think that is a certain part of it, but also a certain part of it is that, you know, the quality of the sport, them taking away the big hits and there's no longer being that physicality in football. It's kind of taken a hit. You know what I'm saying? Also, you got to get a props to digital to streaming. You know what I'm saying? Streams don't count. If you watch it on the Fox app, it don't count. You watch it on the Showtime app, the Nielsen ratings does not count that. You watch it through a stream on the internet that don't count. So you also got more people streaming sports than ever off their phones, off the off the apps, illegally streaming. You got more people streaming than ever. So that's gonna affect the it's gonna affect the uh the streaming numbers. And it's kinda like it's kinda like to me, it's kinda like the mailman or the mailwoman, right? And when they put email in the game, that took away from the the mailman's, you know, job a little bit. You know what I'm saying? At one point, they thought the mail of mail woman, mailman and mail woman would be obsolete because of the email. So, you know, when technology come in, it's a good and a bad thing. And, and the bad, excuse me, for, for sports was that a lot of people going to stream it, you know, off the television. So you don't know how many people you tr you truly reaching. If it was back in the old days, maybe Delore May and, and, and uh, 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 Delore May and James do three or four million on Fox. You know, maybe Earl Spence and Mikey Garcia do six, seven hundred thousand. Maybe Pacquiao and, and Thurman do a million. But streaming has definitely changed the game. Tyson Fury and Wilder for sure crack a million. But streaming definitely changed the game for a lot of these dudes. But I think it was solid numbers for Jamal James and Delorme. Um, but I think they should put on better fights on regular TV. They got the game fucked up. That showtime schedule should be on Fox. But you see, Fox didn't get them a lot of dates, not till we know. And I and I and I and I believe uh, Regis Progress is gonna have a, a a date pretty soon. So I don't know if Regis is gonna go back to Showtime, but I do know Broner is fighting, supposed to be fighting Ivan Redcash in December. So Showtime got a few more dates that they ain't unveiled yet. Plus they got the Showbox dates that I don't know if they will or will continue in 2020. So Fox might have some more dates, but right now they got two open slots. And one of them is probably Andy. And um, I don't know what the other one is going to be, but they got the game messed up. All the fights on Showtime should be on Fox, but I think Fox cut the budget. I think that, that's no insider information. I'm just assuming Fox cut that budget. That's what happened. Fox cut that, cut that budget. Yep. Because they cutting everything. So they couldn't afford the fighters they need to afford. So Showtime and Viacom opened up the pocketbooks and they got the really good fight. So. I mean, still a good fight for Delore Man Jamal James. What I've seen, um, when you change, when you exchange a lever, le uh, leather, and you got somebody that's sticking and moving, and one guy looking for the one big shot, that's usually gonna 
going to be pretty good. So I think they did really good viewership, and I think streaming is changing the game and taking away from all sports viewership. If you look at the numbers, every sports viewership is down um, across the board. But, hey, let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you got business questions, quiet response to video requests, all my social media links in the description, Facebook group link in the description. Uh, Want to make a donation, CJ Good 313 It's the Cash App. That's in the description. PayPal there as well. Best way to donate is to share the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe bell, subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Appreciate the love and support. One time for the one time we go.